All right, welcome to another episode of Your Drone Questions Answered. Today we're answering the question, is the FAA tracking my drone? We see this question come up a lot in comments or in other places, emails, questions from our students. So we thought we would address exactly what is and is not happening. So as of now, the main answer to that question is really no. The FAA is not actively tracking your drone all the time like it is with other aircraft. However, there is something called remote ID that you may have heard of. So let's talk about what this is and how it's different than what you might normally think of when you're gonna go on like flight aware and look at a airliner tracking them over the United States as they fly their route. It's not like that with your drone. Remote ID works differently. Remote ID has been referred to as something of a digital license plate for your drone. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but essentially it's either a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signal that can either be built into your drone's hardware um, or if your drone doesn't have remote ID, if it's an older drone, you can get a module that attaches to the drone and broadcasts that out. But it's just sending out information about your drone and oftentimes about your controller in its position. But the thing about remote ID is that it doesn't go super far. It depends on what kind of broadcast module you have either on top of the drone or inside of the drone, but it doesn't go out forever. It's usually just in a localized area. So unless you are in the area of the drone and you have some type of device or system to receive those signals and to monitor it, no one is gonna be tracking your drone actively and watching what it's doing. The main purpose of remote ID is basically to help the FAA, law enforcement, regulatory bodies, know what's going on with the drone if there's a security incident. So let's say you go to the Super Bowl and somebody has the broad idea to fly a drone over the stadium in the middle of the Super Bowl. Well, uh, I don't think they would like that. At an event like that, there'd be something called a TFR, temporary flight restriction, which means it is a no-fly zone. So obviously they wouldn't want a drone being there. So hypothetically, law enforcement could look up and say, okay, let's look at this remote ID information that is broadcasting out, and I'm gonna find who is flying this drone and information about this drone. So what could broadcast out on remote ID are things like the drone's location, the altitude, the speed, a unique ID number for the drone, and then the location of the controller or operator. But if you're using one of those third-party modules that sits on top of the drone, it will not broadcast the operator's position. So you might be wondering, how do I receive this data? Well, honestly, you can get a smartphone app or some other type of receiver that can receive these Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signals. It can read what the remote ID broadcast module is sending out, and it'll tell you what I just told you just now. So it's not like there's a warehouse of FAA people looking at a computer, watching all the drones go across the screen and tracking everything. It doesn't work like that. You have to be in the vicinity, and you have to have like a physical device to receive those signals from the drone nearby. So the question's a little loaded. Is the FAA tracking my drone? I would say if you're flying in your backyard, Probably not, but if there's a high security area, a sporting event, basically any TFR, something that's uh, where there's gonna be law enforcement presence, I bet you they're gonna be watching for remote ID information. And if a drone goes in the sky, they might have counter UAS measures to bring it down, but they'll also be checking that remote ID information to potentially find the operator of the drone and to figure out what's going on to make sure that everyone's safe. I do remember one instance about a year ago where someone went out to Best Buy, bought a drone, and decided to fly it and they wanted to see how far it could go and they flew it over an Ohio State University football game. Well, it was picked up and they followed it back and uh, found where the guy was flying it. He got arrested uh, for a whole host of things and was charged with some penalties. I can't remember which of those fines or things uh, stuck, but still not a situation you wanna find yourself in. So don't fly places that you shouldn't be, but they likely found him in part because of that remote ID broadcast capabilities. So this is a little bit of a short episode today, but I hope that answers the question of, is the FAA actively tracking your drone? And a little bit about remote ID, what that does, and what kind of information it sends out. All right, we'll see you next time on Your Drone Questions Answered.